Good afternoon, my name is Scott Rudley, Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com. Welcome to today's recap and look ahead. 观众朋友们，大家好，感谢您收看本次直击美股。我是主持人周丽，在纽约向您问好。今天是三月二十一日，星期二。今日股市整体下跌，盘中跌幅超过百分之一，这也是自一月以来的最高跌幅。银行股继续下挫，领跌所有板块。根据道琼斯数据显示。在过去一百八十三个交易日中，标普五百从未出现过一次超过百分之五的跌幅。因此，有分析师认为，即使现在市场出现一定程度的回调，市场依然是健康的。但是，就今天的跌幅来看，显然已经打破了过去四日的小幅下跌，市场已经开始逐渐显现出疲软。特朗普上涨一直是过去一段时间以来股市上涨的重要诱因之一。但是最近特朗普新政新策推行速度非常缓慢，因此市场正在等待另一些时机或者说是机会，能够重振市场对于股市的信心。本周还会有更多联储官员发表重要讲话，他们的讲话将时刻影响股市动向。我们华尔街多媒体以及直击美股也将会为您时刻关注这些动向，也请您持续关注我们的节目。更多详细资讯，请关注交易员访谈。We all had a tough day today, and according to Dow Jones data, there hasn't been a single 1% pullback in the past 109 trading days. So the investors are seeing a buying opportunity for today. So how do you think about that? Well, it depends on your time frame. It depends on your age. Like this was the first one. You don't know if there's going to be another and another. So it all depends on your time frame、mm -hmm. and what trend you trade. See, what I do is, as an active trader, I talk about your rules. I try and be long. Okay, in a portfolio approach, if we're above the eight and twenty-one day moving average, and if we're above the accelerated trend, let me show you what I mean by the chart of the S and P cash. So we all talk about, and I've talked about so many times about how this trend was reborn. Right, this is when Donald Trump was elected. This was the wide range bar that ignited the the last move above this descending channel. So you could do it two ways. So that rally, okay, has been going on for quite some time, and what has it done the entire time? It's been above the 21-day moving average, and most of the time above the eight. So what happened here? You had two signals to sell. One, when it broke below the eight-day moving average, below this 23.69, especially after opening up green and going red, and then when it broke the 21-day, which happened to be the recent floor, and now all of a sudden this accelerated trend is broken, and we're not that far off the highs. So if you go and look back, how far we've come, okay? In perspective, all we are is right here. So I don't think that this first dip is the one that you want to buy. You want to use a little price discovery. If anything, we'll see how we handle the 50-day moving average, which is right here around 23.20, and then maybe where we broke out from from the emotional spot of around 2300. So all in all, you know, to me, it feels like this accelerated trend is broken, and we could see some discovery to the downside. So I'm going to be wait and see mode. I took down a lot of risk today. And thank goodness you were able to sell some of the market when it was up. If you remember, we opened up five handles today. You know, Amazon was up five bucks, Apple was up a dollar fifty. So if you were long, at least you were able to sell strength before the weakness set in, instead of it just opening down and being a trap. Yeah, good idea. Crude oil's inventory has been a problem for a long while, and it also brings some weakness to the energy sector. So how do you see its trend this week? Well, this you know, I talk about the eight and twenty-one day. The、mm -hmm. the energy stocks are below the two hundred day. That means you know it's the weakest sector. So you want to avoid. If you play for momentum, you don't want to be in in the energy stocks when it's in a descending channel below the 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 two hundred day. And crude itself. Remember when it failed at fifty-three? Okay, that was your your way to get out of it. If you look at here at the XLE, lots of different ways to navigate it. Okay, here is the you know we talk about above the eight and twenty-one day. Well. This has been below the eight and twenty-one day since the start of 2017. That is a weak trend. This is one of the worst trends, and now it's below the 200 day. So every time it tried to get above this, it failed. So hopefully, no one's sitting in this. And if this happens to take out this spot, you know you're going to see some eyebrows get raised. So at this point, the energy names that didn't fall apart today, in my opinion, are in a void until this descending trend line gets taken out and it shows some commitment above it, which we haven't seen in all of 2017. So, bank sector leads the decline today again. And do you still see any opportunity in this sector? There's always going to be opportunity. It's just a matter of what your time frame is and when. We、mm -hmm. talk about the 8:21 day. The banks lost that last week, and now the banks are below the 50-day. So, every incremental spot, you need to measure the health of it. 
So if you want to look, just say, at the XLF, which a lot of people look at, you know, as an ETF, okay, look at this wide range bar here after that exhaustion top. And then basically never came back above it. And this too broke its accelerated trend. It broke below the 8 and 21 day. I thought it would hold the 50 day. It didn't close near the lows. So we'll see what happens here in, you know, the XLF, you know, maybe closer to 23. And what gave us some clues? Look at Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs actually broke the 50 day yesterday. Not, so it led the, the market lower saying, wait. So now I guess we'll see what happens with Goldman Sachs here. Okay, but all in all, you know, all the momentum, in my humble opinion, has been lost. Now the question is, where does it hold? You know, it could almost, it could see the 200 day if it wants. So at this point, let the price discovery happen as short-term trends have changed. 正如刚刚所说, 尽管我们今天呢, 交易情况不是很良好, 好，以上就是本次直击美股，感谢您的收看，我是主持人 Julie， 我们下期节目再见。